there's a catechism for young novices. It starts out what is one, what is two, what is three, all the way up to what is ten. And what is one is all beings subsist on food. This is what we have in common. And it's not just physical food the Buddha is talking about here, there's metal food as well. And so we're meditating, we're trying to give the good, good metal food to the mind. Because one of the kinds of metal food is your intention. You feed off your intentions. And if you've got bad intentions, it's like having spoiled food. So you try to develop good intentions in the mind, you're going to stay right here. And then you keep that intention going. In other words, you don't set it up and then let it fall. You carry through with it, and as long as you carry through with it, you've got good food for the mind. It's when you forget and go wandering off, that's when you've replaced your good food with junk food. And you know what happens to the body when you feed it with junk food? It gets sick. The mind gets sick off of bad metal food as well. It's when you find yourself nibbling off of something, digging something up and nibbling off of it. Keep that picture in mind. It's not a very pretty picture. The kinds of things that we nibble on that are not good for the mind. Whereas feeding off a of concentration is something you can do out in the open. You know, it wouldn't be a shame to have someone take a picture of your mind at that point. The mind is still, it's well it's finding its happiness, it's finding its well being in things that are totally harmless. And it's not stooping to anything that's beneath it. So as you lift the mind to the concentration, you're lifting it to a higher form of happiness, what the Buddha calls the happiness of form, the body as you feel it from within. That kind of food is good for you, it's nourishing. Perhaps your goodness have a good long life. <laughs>